Celebrate your graduate with this super cute and easy to make fan. Let's craft. The video, as always, we're gonna start in Canva. We're gonna click on create a design. And in create a design, we're gonna go to custom design and we're gonna click, we're gonna do the sizing of eight and a half by 11, which is the size of copy paper. Okay, so here we are with our blank sheet and we're going to do a graduation fan. I don't currently know anyone who is graduating. So what I'm gonna do is head to elements and I'm gonna type in graduate and go to photos. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of photos of graduates. So um, lots and lots of stock photos to choose from. They even have some with the background already removed. That's a pro one, but I just think that's really cool. You don't even have to go through the hubbub of trying to uh, remove the background because that is something that we're gonna have to do. So going back up, I like this young lady because it's a face forward picture, easy peasy, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click on edit photo and we're going to remove the background. This is a pro feature. If you do not have Canva Pro, no worries. You can go to a multitude of websites to remove the background from your photos. So do not worry. I am going to size this young lady up, make sure that it's nice and big, maybe not this big, and make sure that she is centered. Next, we're gonna head to text and we're gonna add a heading. I'm just gonna type in 2024. And then I'm gonna pick a font. I like this Norwester font. I think it's very graduate. And then we are going to size it up so that it fits under her. So like right there. And then we're gonna change the color. You can see it looks like her school colors are black and yellow. So I'm gonna head on over to effects. I'm gonna click outline and I'm gonna change the outline color to yellow. Boom. Then we're gonna take this duplicate it and we're gonna type in the word grad. So with the grad, you can actually change the color of this as well. I think that'll add more fun to it. So I'm actually gonna change the grad to yellow and in the effects, I'm gonna change the outline to black. Yeah, I like that. And then just scoot it up, make sure it looks good. Now we're gonna head on back over to elements and I'm going to type in brush stroke like a paintbrush stroke. And then we're gonna head down to frames here. Click see all and then you'll see a multitude of brush stroke frames. I've used pretty much all of these. Pick whichever one you like. I like this one. So we're gonna go ahead and just make it cover up her face here. And then I'm gonna scoot it over. Next, we're gonna head back to elements and we're gonna type in yellow glitter. You can use any type of background you like. Um, you, for a fella, you can make it like a curtain or you can even do confetti, but I like the glitter look. So I like this yellow glitter. You're gonna take it, um, click and hold, hover it over the frame, and then once you see it kind of go inside the frame, release, boom. Now you have a yellow glitter brush stroke. Okay, so with the yellow glitter brush stroke, obviously we don't want it in front of her face, so we're gonna tap on it, we're gonna click on position, and we're gonna push it backwards. So now it's in the back of her. Honestly, you could stop right here. This looks really, really good, but we're gonna take it a little bit further and we're gonna customize it. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 2024, we're gonna duplicate it, and then I'm just gonna type in her name. I don't know this young lady personally, so I don't know her name. So I'm gonna make up a name and let's call her Carrie. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little large. So we're gonna go ahead and push the spacing. So you're gonna go to line spacing and kind of push it. And then boop, keep making sure that it lines up. And then this is a little too big as well for our frame. So we're gonna size it all the way down until we like what we see. So I'm thinking 115 looks good. Give it another little push. Perfect. I like that. So I wanna keep everything like within the brush stroke. So I'm just gonna keep it moved down just a little bit. So we got her name here and I'm just gonna keep playing with the name because I, I want it to be nice and clean and legible. 
so just keep playing with it i love this and honestly you could be done here you can add congrats you can add what school they go to you really can like sky's the limit so i'm gonna duplicate it i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna just do what school they go to um my high school's initials were bhs so let's do that and we're gonna make that a little bigger maybe up to 110 I lied you can see the yellow outline is blending in with the yellow glitter so let's go ahead and change the outline on this one to white mm, or better yet I want to change the letters itself to white and then I'm going to change the outline to black yeah very nice okay and then the BHS let's change that outline to white that looks good okay make sure everything is centered and nice and legible okay so just like at this point adjust 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 you want to keep adjusting until it looks how you want it to look and like I said this is just one example this is where your creativity will shine in Canva do whatever you think will work for you and and that day you can put congrats you could put a whole bunch of stuff so i like this and for the sake of time we're gonna go ahead and go with this so now we're gonna click share download and we're gonna download it as a png with a transparent background so go ahead and click download if we're in cricut we're gonna go ahead and head over to upload and then we're gonna click on upload image and we're gonna upload the image that we just downloaded of carrie we're gonna click on complex and Canva already did the work for us. They already made it transparent, so we don't have to do anything on this screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click apply and continue. And then we're gonna click the print then cut image and click upload. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to the upload screen and you are going to tap on Carrie and then that's gonna place Carrie on the canvas. She is in all her glory, super gorgeous. 10 inches, I feel personally is too big for a fan. So I'm gonna size this down quite a bit. I'm gonna size it down to about six inches and it looks like it's gonna be about six inches tall. I'm gonna unlock this a little bit and do a six by six. Okay, boom, I like it. So now we're not quite done yet. Next, we're going to just kind of move her down because we need to add an offset because if you try to cut it like this with your Cricut, it's gonna try to go in all these hills and valleys and in these nooks and crannies right here. We do not want that. So we're gonna click on offset and we're going to apply one at 0 0.125, okay? And then we're going to click apply. What this does, the offset makes everything one piece when it cuts. Now, you can leave the offset black or you can make the offset white you can make the offset yellow. You can make it whatever color you want. I'm just trying to decide if I want it to be black or white. Once again, that is between you and your printer and how much ink you have. So if you know you don't have a lot of ink, don't worry about it. Just try to do the best that you can. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the black though, y'all. Like I really like that. So I'm gonna leave it black. Now, what you also wanna do is take the offset and duplicate it. This is gonna be our middle piece. We're gonna cut this with the Cricut using cardstock, and that's gonna be kind of like our stabilizer in the middle. We are not doing anything with this piece yet, so once you duplicate that offset, go ahead and hide it by clicking on the eyeball in the layers panel over here, rather. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight this whole thing, and then we're gonna click on flatten. What that does, Boop, 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 boop. Now carry and the offset can move around, okay? Once again, we're going to duplicate carry with her offset, and this is gonna be the back of our fan. But we don't want the back of our fan to not be even with all these ridges, so what do we do? We're gonna head on over up to flip, and we're gonna flip it horizontal. That way, when you assemble the fan together, all the ridges in the sides will be complete, okay? So, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and click on make. We're gonna save the project. We can do carry grad fan and click on save. This is gonna take us to our print screen. 
and it's gonna print twice, um, the front and the back piece of the fan. We are printing on photo paper. I have glossy photo paper. You can print it on matte photo paper. You can print it on copy paper, but you're really gonna need that stabilizer in the middle. I highly recommend printing this on photo paper to get the best possible results. Go ahead and click on continue, and then we're gonna click on send to printer. We're gonna toggle over to the use system dialog, and we're gonna click on print. When you click on use system dialog, the preparing print screen pops up. And when I first did this, I was sitting around forever like, oh my God, is my internet going out? What's going on? You have to minimize this screen and da 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 da, there is your print box. I don't know what this is called, but that's what you're looking for. And then you're gonna go to the media type. I have an Epson um, ET2800 series printer. It's an inkjet printer. It's amazing. I love it, highly recommend. It did cost me a good chunk of change, but it has been able to produce some really beautiful projects. So I highly recommend getting a really good printer if you're gonna be doing these type of projects. Um, go ahead and click on the media type and I am just clicking photo glossy paper. And then we are going to click on print. Here it is freshly printed. Go ahead and lay it out so that it dries completely. Once it is dried, go ahead and add it to a light grip um, Cricut mat, or it doesn't have to be a Cricut mat, but a light grip mat and add it to your machine. We're gonna cut this in a heavy cardstock setting with more pressure. And there it is in the machine getting detected and cut. And this is what it came out as. These are so cute. So there's the front, the back. You're gonna need some fan sticks that I got from Amazon and a hot glue gun. I go, went ahead and started hot gluing it. This hot glue that I particularly had was clearly old because it was instantly gluing and was very upsetting. But go ahead, do your best. This is me um, hot gluing the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place the middle cardstock piece. I ended up printing or cutting rather two pieces of cardstock because I felt like that was gonna give it the stiffness that it needed. Here I am measuring the fan stick. I would do it about halfway up and then I glued the fan stick on. And then I'm going to take the second piece of cardstock. Yes, it's green, don't worry about that. Um, I couldn't find another yellow piece of cardstock. Once again, like I said, this is an example. <laughs> but I went ahead and glued the next piece of cardstock on top of the other. So the two pieces of cardstock are sandwiching the fan stick. Um, like I said, it's gonna give it that stability that it needs so that it works as an actual fan and it's not floppy. There's nothing worse than a floppy fan. So go ahead and add some more hot glue to the next cardstock piece. And then we're gonna place the back onto it or the top rather. And that's it y'all, that's the fan. She's so cute. I love this project. It came out so perfect. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that notification bell and subscribe. Bye.